Today's block is going to be a little bit different. It's not actually a block. It's sashing and cornerstone you can use to set your blocks, your sampler blocks. This one is like a rail fence for the, the sashing and it's a nine patch for the cornerstone. And I show the differences here. I call this one the light sash and cornerstone because the light fabric is pointing to the block and you can see that here. And I call this one the dark because it does look different when you look at them together. The dark one is darker and it, it fills up more space. The light one has much lighter look to it and you might like that better on your quilt. Here are the patches we have for this and it's just for one sash and one cornerstone. And I know that's not helping you at all, but I want to show you how you can take this design and use the quilting apps and determine how much fabric you need and how many pieces you need to cut to make your own sashing. I could give you a pattern for the quilt size I like, but it wouldn't do you any good for the quilt size you like. So let's scroll down here and look a little bit more. This is an example of how the sashings and cornerstones are put together. The cornerstones are these little nine patches here, and when I do a sashing and cornerstone, I take these horizontal ones and I sew them together as a row. So I'll put a cornerstone sashing, cornerstone sashing. As I'm sewing my rows together, I put the sashing in between all the blocks. So I'll just put a sashing block, sashing block, sashing. And then this is another row of sashing and cornerstones. So that's how I put mine together. If you could go ahead and download the, these instructions so you'll have them to follow as we're looking. And also over here, I have another download for you. This is the worksheet we're going to use to determine how much fabric you need and to use the apps. Don't let all these words get you down because it's very easy. This is for cornerstone and sashing, the fabric requirements and the cutting instructions. Here is the code that you can go directly to the quilting apps on my website. And then here's where we start filling out the information. We'll go over that. For the sashing, or really anything time you're calculating the fabric you need, you only need three numbers. You need to know the lengthwise grain, the crosswise grain, and you see they're here in yellow. And then I'm going to show you how to figure out how many pieces you need because that is the, the third parameter you need. You need the lengthwise grain measurement, the crosswise grain measurement, and how many do you need. You just put these three numbers in and it'll tell you how, to, how much you need to cut, what size you need to cut, and even how much fabric you need. And the results you get, you can fill out in this worksheet right down here because these are the results you'll get. Then that's for the sashing. When you go down to the cornerstones, after you've done the sashing. You need the lengthwise grain and the crosswise grain as well. And you'll need to know the total number of cornerstone pieces. And this is how I tell you how to figure that out. So those are your three parameters. You put those in and you get your results and you can write down your results here. So this is a piece of paper you can keep with you as you're working on your quilt. We're going to be working on a sashing and cornerstone for this block. We're just going to do one sash and one cornerstone. But the big thing is I'm going to show you how to calculate your own using the quilting apps. So if you have downloaded this, the instructions for today, and also this is the worksheet for cornerstones and sashing. It will give you fabric requirements and cutting instructions for whatever size and however many number you need for sashing and cornerstones. This is just a plain sashing. It's three and a half inches cut by 12 and a half inches. It's for um, a 12 inch block and this is a 12 inch block and the sashing will be on here like this if we use this sashing. And then the cornerstone goes here. So you put a sashing here and a sashing here all around the block. The first example, I'm going to do just a plain sashing to show you how to do that. Here are the patches for this sashing, which is the rail fence sashing. 
We will stitch them together like this. And then we have our patches, our one and a half inch cut patches for the cornerstone. And we will piece these together like this. So we need to find out how many cornerstones we need and how many sashings we need. Then we can determine how much fabric we need and how to cut it. I'm going to go over this worksheet now. If you have this code and you can scan this if it's showing on your computer and you can scan it from this printed out copy. You open up the, the camera app on your phone and you just put it there and you see it comes up with the quilt notes and you press that button and it takes you directly to the sizing of quilt, the apps that we're going to use. The first app is called Sizing a Quilt. And let's just go through that really quickly because I've added another function for you. The, the, what you're going to enter here is the block width and the height. This app, Sizing a Quilt, you need to use the finished size. So we're going to put 12 in there and 12. And then it says enter the number of blocks across and down. So if you want to, if you want to determine how big you want the quilt, you can start with anything. But we're going to do three across and we're going to do four down. That's our example for today. Here is the optional you can enter a sash width and a border width. Now for this sashing, this puts sashing all the way around the quilt. So it the outer outer sashing is really like a border. Now we're just going to put three inches here for the sashing. Three. Okay, done. Now we've put in 12 for the width and 12 for the height. And then we've got three across and four down and we have a three inch sashing. So we come down here and we hit the calculate button. Now this gives you your results here. The quilt width will be 48 inches and the quilt length will be 63 inches. We have a total number of blocks is 12. And now here's what I added from a little while back. The number of two and a half inch binding strips. You'll need six strips of fabric to, at two and a half inches to do your binding. And this tells you how much yardage. So 0.4 to about a half a yard. Okay. So now you have that. So we'll go down here to the next one. How much fabric do I need? Patches. If you have been following my, my, all my videos for the block of the day, you'll notice that we have these patches. Here's patch A, and I tell you how big to cut it. If you needed 200 of these patches, you could put the measurements in there and 200, and it would calculate how much fabric you need and how you need to cut it. The first one we're going to do is the easiest one. This is the cornerstone is a three by th is a three and a half by three and a half inch cut square, and the sashing is three and a half inches by twelve and a half inches. So this is a patch, and this is a patch. Now let's bring in our information from the sizing a quilt app we just did. Our unfinished block size is 12.5, 12 twelve and a half. We have three blocks across and four blocks down, a total of 12 blocks. And we're going to do the sashing first, which is the white fabric here. The lengthwise grain is always, for the sashing, is always the unfinished block size. So that's 12.5, and we get that from up here. And then the crosswise grain is the unfinished sash width which in our case is 3.5. Now we have two of our numbers we need. We just need to find out how many of these sashing pieces we need for the entire quilt. We do that by first finding out how many vertical sashings there are and then how many horizontal sashings. Here is a picture of sashings around two blocks. The horizontal sashings are these going across at the top and the bottom, and then the vertical sashings go between the blocks. 
On here we see the vertical sashings are we take the blocks across, which is three plus one. So three plus one is four. And we take the number of blocks down, and that is four. So we have four times four is 16. We need 16 vertical sashings, and this is the sashings going between the blocks in each row. Now we'll figure out the horizontal sashings we need. We take the blocks across, which is three, and we take the blocks down, plus one, which is four plus one is five. Three times five is 15. Then we'll add these together, and it's 31. So for the sashing, we have our three numbers. We have our lengthwise grain, our crosswise grain, and the number of pieces we need. And we're going to go to the How Much Fabric Do I Need Patches app, and we'll scroll down to our inputs. Here we have the lengthwise grain, crosswise grain, and the number of patches needed. So let's fill those out from up here. The lengthwise grain is 12.5. The crosswise grain is 3.5. And the number of patches needed is 31. And as soon as we put the last number in there, you'll get your results. And here are the results. Cut three strips at 12 and a half inches times the width of fabric. Subcut each strip into 12 segments at, of three and a half inches for a total of 31 pieces. The fabric needed is 38 inches or approximately 1.06 yards. Now we'll just transfer this information to here, which is the results. Three strips at 12 and a half inches times with the fabric. Cut each strip into 12 segments of three and a half inches for a total of 31 pieces. And we need 38 inches of fabric or approximately 1.1. I'll just round it up to 1.1 yards. So now for the sashing, you know how much fabric you need and you know how to cut it. So you would do that. Now let's go on to the cornerstones and figure out how much fabric we need for our cornerstones. The lengthwise grain is the unfinished sash width, which is 3.5. The crosswise grain is the same thing, 3.5. Now let's see how many cornerstone pieces we need. We'll go by the blocks across plus one. So the blocks across up here is three, plus one is four. The blocks down plus one. The blocks down is four, plus one is five. So four times five is 20. Now we have our lengthwise and crosswise grains and we know we need 20 pieces. So let's go to our app again and put in these numbers. So for the lengthwise grain, we'll need to change that to 3.5. And the crosswise grain is already 3.5. And the number of patches we're going to change to 20. And here are our results for that. We're going to cut two strips at three and a half inches times the width of fabric. Subcut each strip into 12 segments of three and a half inches. For a total of 20 pieces, the fabric needed is seven inches or approximately 0.19 yards. I'm going to round that up to 0.25, a quarter of a yard. So let's fill our information in here. Two strips, 3.5 inches. Cut each strip into 12 segments of three and a half inches for a total of 20 pieces, and we need seven inches of fabric or approximately 0.25 yards. Now we know exactly how much fabric we need for our sashing and our cornerstones. And we can go ahead and get that fabric, cut it up, and start finishing our quilt. 
Now that part was pretty easy because we just had one large piece for the sashing and one square for the cornerstones. But what happens if you have three pieces for the sashing and nine pieces for the cornerstone? How do you figure this out? When you're calculating yardage for the different fabrics, in this case we have dark and light, I do a sheet for the dark fabric and then do another sheet for the light fabric. I've transferred my information from the first sheet because it's the same quilt, we're just putting a different sashing on. Our unfinished block size is still 12 and a half. We still have three blocks across, four blocks down for a total of 12 blocks. For the sashing and the dark fabric, we look here at our patches. This is the sashing and we see our dark fabric, we have two patches. Here is the sashing, and we needed 31 pieces of the white, the plain, but now we have two patches of the dark here. So we, we take this 31 times two and equals to 62. Now we need 62 patches of this, and this is the lengthwise grain is 12 and a half, and the crosswise is one and a half. So we'll write that here. Lengthwise, 12.5, crosswise, 1.5. Now we have our 12 and a half, our lengthwise, our crosswise, and we have our new number of fabrics that we need, patches actually, that we need. Now let's look at the cornerstones. Go down here. And if we look at the cornerstones, the dark fabric, we need four. And our, it's a one and a half inch square cut. So our lengthwise grain is 1.5, crosswise is 1.5. And then we have four patches. We have our four patches. So we had 20 patches before. Now we have 20 times four is 80. So we need 80 pieces of the cornerstone, and this is for the dark fabric. We'll calculate these. We'll look at the sashing, so we'll go back to our calculator. Our lengthwise grain is 12.5. Our crosswise grain is 1.5. And the amount needed is now 62. So we'll put 62 here. Done. And here are our results. We cut three strips at 12 and a half inches times the width of fabric. Subcut each strip into 28 segments of one and a half inches for a total of 62 pieces, and we need 38 inches or 1.06 yards. And let's transfer those to the results section. Three strips, 12.5, 28, 28 segments of 1.5 inches, 62 pieces, 38 inches, 1.1 yards. Now let's calculate our cornerstones for the dark fabric. The lengthwise grain is 1.5. The crosswise grain is 1.5. And the number of patches needed is 80. And here are our results. We cut three strips at 1.5 inches, subcut into 28 segments of 1.5 inches for a total of 80 pieces. We need five inches or approximately 0.14 yards. And I've got it all in here.
And now you've calculated the dark fabric you need for the sashing and the cornerstones. Next we'll do the light fabric. The information for the light fabric, the, the number of sashings and the size of sashings are the same because we got them from here, these patches. The only thing different are the number of patches. So what I did was I transferred all of the information, the lengthwise grain and crosswise grain, and the number of sashing units we need. We'll cal calculate the number of patches in just a minute. I transferred these from the dark worksheet onto the light worksheet. So they're the same. And then I did the same thing with the cornerstones. 1.5 and 1.5 for the lengthwise and crosswise. Transferred them over. Here we had 20 cornerstones. We just don't know how many patches. So I transferred the 20 over here. Now let's put this to the side and we're going to figure out how many light patches we need. We'll start with the sashing. And if we look here, the sashing for the light fabric, we need one patch and it's one and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. So this is the sashing and here's our lengthwise and crosswise grains. So we just need one patch. So 31 times one is 31. And this is how many we need of that one patch. And remember, this is the middle one here for the, the rail fence unit. Now for the cornerstone, the look here, and we see for the light fabric, we need five patches. And these are cut one and a half inches by one and a half inches. Let's go up here, down here to the cornerstone. Here are the one and a half inches. And then here are the 20 cornerstones that we need. So we're going to multiply 20 times 5, which is 100. And we need 100 patches of the light fabric for the cornerstones. All right, now I have my trusty calculator here, our quilting app. And we're going to go to the patches and put in our information for the patches. And we'll put in the lengthwise grain is 12.5. And we're doing the sashing now. And the crosswise grain is 1.5. And the number we need is 31. 31, done. And our results are two strips at 12 and a half inches times the width of fabric. Let me put it down here. Two at 12.5. And we cut each strip into 28 segments, and that's on there, of 1.5 inches. Now, the one I have here, I've got 28 segments, but yours will be corrected. It will be a blank number. For a total of 31 pieces, and we need 25 inches of fabric, or approximately 0.69 yards. I'm going to say 0.75, three quarter yards. So we have that. And now let's do our cornerstones. Let's go. So our lengthwise and crosswise grains are both 1.5. So I just need to change the lengthwise to 1.5 and the amount we need is 100. Change that. Done. And here are our results. We cut four strips at one and a half inches, four at 1.5, 28 segments of 1.5 inches for a total of 100 pieces. And we need six inches or approximately 0.17 yards. I'm going to put 0.25. Now there is, you probably don't want to cut a hundred of these little small squares and piece every nine patch because there's a lot of nine, there's 29 patches and all the, the pieces in there. You can strip piece this. There is a video I had that shows how you can take a four patch 
and you can do this with a nine patch, but you can take a four patch and figure out how many strips you need to strip piece that four patch. And there will be a link in the description below this video to take you to that. It's called the uh, Irish Chain-esque quilt. And the instruction for that is at the back of the video. Now you have all this information. You have this light and dark fabric and you know how much fabric you need. What are you going to do with it? So I have another worksheet for you. I'm such a nerd. Here is the worksheet for fabric requirements. I have six little charts here and each one is a different fabric. Now you can write the name of the fabric on here. There's room for a, a swatch if you want to put it. But they all look like this. So I'm going to call this dark. This is my dark fabric and this is light. So let's look at our dark fabric here and we see at the bottom here on the results this is how much fabric we need. I like to put the number of inches I need then I can add inches or, or, or round up or whatever but you can put the yards if you want. So it's either 38 inches or 1.1 yards. You can put both if you want, but I like to add up the inches. And this is the sashing here. It's a sashing. So we need 38 inches of the dark fabric for the sashing. Here is the sashing. I'm going to put 38 inches in there. And then let's keep going down here where the cornerstones are for the, the dark fabric and we need five inches for the cornerstones. So I'm going to put five here. And what I normally do is once I have all of these filled out for whatever the dark fabric is or whichever fabric, then I'll total up these at the bottom and then round up however I need to if I want to get extra fabric. And I, you do want to get extra fabric because these are the exact amounts you need. Okay, so now let's go to the light worksheet. Here it is, here's the sashing. And for the light sashing, we need 25 inches. So let's go over here to the light fabric. Sashing, 25 inches. And look at the bottom of the light. Here are the cornerstones. We need six inches of the light. So here's the cornerstones. The light fabric, six inches. And then I'll just total that up and tells you how much fabric you need. So you'll know the total number of fabrics you need. And then here are your cutting instructions for each of your different pieces. Now I know this is a lot of information and a lot of papers, but I hope you'll try one to see how it works because it really is simple once you learn how to do it. And the worksheet, you can just follow the worksheet for the cornerstones and sashings. I have a link. Um, to all of these worksheets. There's another one too for sizing a quilt and you can download all of those worksheets and it the same place I have these worksheets anytime I put a new worksheet out it will be in the same place but they're always go going to be a link. Also on my website I have a, a page called Quilt Engineering and there will be a link to that as well. All the videos I've done that have these these worksheets and the, the quilt engineering and the apps in them I laid out on that sheet and explained what each video talks about so if you want to um, follow that you can look there and see all the different ones that I've done to date and as I do new ones I'll add them there too also on YouTube I have a playlist called quilt engineering and this video will be added to that playlist so anytime I talk about the quilt engineering or the quilting apps and show you how to do something, They'll, that video will be in that playlist. So there's a lot of resources for you and you're probably done by now so I'll just say goodbye and thanks for watching.